my homage to Stacked Golf, one of my other favorite golf YouTube channels. You saw me go through a Goodwill and get this Ben Hogan two iron. Ben Hogan is kind of a big somebody in the world of golf. So what I'm gonna show you today is different two irons, which are now called driving irons, the different prices, and what I recommend for your particular price point. I know you also want my hot take on the Harris English and Bryson DeChambeau situation from this past weekend where they were both put on the clock. Initially, I was thinking, that's horrible. You ruined their game. You made them not win the tournament. But then I also investigate further into what can actually be done in 40 seconds and how you can proactively defend against having to be put on the shot clock by your buddies by getting everything done in 40 seconds. I don't think I made my point clear enough about how much time you actually have when you have 40 seconds. So what we're gonna do right now is, I've got two cheeseburgers in here. I'm gonna hit this start button so you can see the timer going and then we're gonna see how many cheeseburgers I can get through in 40 seconds to show you how much time that Harris English and Bryson DeChambeau actually had when they were rushed and they were put on the clock. Let's begin. Okay, it's going. I got one cheeseburger right here. Tons of time to do this. Plenty of time. Surprisingly, pretty good feel. Now from probably the same period of time, the Jurassic period of golf clubs, the McGregor DX1 tourney iron, two iron. Let's try this one out. I wanna compare uh, a same Jurassic period to Jurassic period golf club. I still struck it so pure, I'm basically a semi-pro at this point, but I would tell you that the Ben Hogan felt a little later, a little quicker through the ball. I'm gonna hit one more shot with it. Not an easy club to hit. Next, I'm gonna go with the ping clubs, the ping I2 and the ping TST. Could be an IST, IST I guess. These were from like the 80s and 90s and you can probably get them at a garage sale for five bucks a pop, maybe 10 bucks. First up, we're going with the ping I2. I got the white dot. As you can see, it was immediately easier to get that up in the air. That was a bad range ball. This is the pink TST2 iron. Solid club. Whatever. Now I'm gonna go up into the 2000s. This is the TaylorMade Rocket Ball Z. Yes, it says four on it, but it's a 20 degree club, which is basically 
the old two iron, which was 18 degrees or so. This was probably put out five or six years ago. Highly recommended, very easy to hit. 30 to 50 bucks on eBay. Literally can't hit it better than that. That is the best this club has ever been hit. Like I told you before, it's totally reasonable price, $30, $50 off of eBay now, and perfect as a driving iron, perfect as a hybrid. Consider it. Now I've got the JPX Fly High Mizuno. It's, no, again, it's a three, but it's probably closer to a two iron um, for prehistoric time terms. Solid club, 20 to 30 bucks. Let's give it a get, let's give it a shot. It's it's just pure. Club's pure, swing's pure, it's all good. In terms of two irons or driving irons, I also have the Callaway X Utility here, it's 18 degrees, two iron. You can see it's a little bit of a chunkier design. Looks beautiful. It's got this beautiful Project X 6.0 shaft. It's probably going for 80 to $100 right now. If you go to any PGA Superstore, you might find it used somewhere for that price. Let's give it a whirl. I will note for the Later models, it's just so much easier to get the ball higher. I think they have the center gravity lower, so now you can kind of get a nice smooth arc rather than that low boring trajectory. If you wanna know what sweet, sweet driving irons in my bag, it's the P790 three iron. Basically two iron, let's give it a whirl. This club is so pure that after I hit it a few times, I immediately switched over to the P770s. That should tell you something. But you're gonna need about 150 bucks for this bad boy. So break out the piggy bank. But when my mid-handicap friends ask me, what's the best driving iron for them? I think, trick question, bro. I recommend getting a hybrid, maybe a 21 degree. They can do everything with it. This M3 might find its way back in my bag again because it can hit every shot for you. Gives you forgiveness too. I know it looks so pure, but to be honest, I caught that one a little thin, and that's why I recommend this club. Now I know I discussed earlier how Bryson DeChambeau and Harris English were put on the clock, and they immediately started falling off the leaderboard. 40 seconds might not seem like a ton of amount of time, but I'm gonna show you, if you got 40 seconds, and only a $3 driving iron, from Ben Hogan, from the, from the Jurassic period, that you can still get the shot off and you don't need to rush. Remember, the best defense is a good offense. So let's get that ball up in the air in under 40 seconds. I mean, I even posed at the end to eat up more time. You know what? Let's try another shot. This time, I got 40 seconds. I'm gonna do a little bit more dilly-dallying by taking a practice swing first. Begin the clock now.
need to redo that one. <laughs> it's up time now for the final part of this 40 second challenge. I'm gonna get to the ball, I'm gonna hear a dog bark, I'm gonna back off the shot, and then try to hit the ball all under, under 40 seconds to show you that you don't need to rush. Let's begin the clock now. Roof, roof. That's the dog barking. I'm phased. Need to get back my shot. It's like you got all the time in the world. It's all about up here not focusing on what's here. It really is amazing how you can go to a Goodwill for a few dollars a club, you can get out there and play golf. So no excuses.